Hello and welcome back. Um, we are going to be installing GridDB um, directly onto Ubuntu. Um, so to do so, there are two ways. So you can either go to the GridDB GitHub page um, and grab the package from there. And um, if you do that, you can just run sudo dpackage install and um, plug in the Debian file directly. And um, it should work. You can also do that with uh, OpenSUSE and um, CentOS. Uh, but the way I will showcase here, because this is kind of self-explanatory, um, we'll install it using apt-get. Um, so this is going to place um, some information into our sources list for uh, using aptitude. And um, we'll be able to install GridDB using um, apt. OK, so let's get started. So first, we will. Um, simply copy and paste this into our terminal and this will create a file and it'll put this um, content into this file called GridDB list in this directory. Okay, so type this in um, and then we can verify that it's there so we can run a cat on it. App sources list the GridDB, GridDB list and um, yep, sure enough it's there. And then we need to um, grab the key because otherwise it'll fail. Just copy and paste that. You get the OK. And then you do a sudo apt update. Um, whoops, update. Um, so this will um, grab that file. So now you see here griddb is listed in our app update. And now if we do a sudo apt install, it will um, it'll work. Um, so the thing here that we're going to do is we're going to grab the GridDB meta package. You could also just install, for example, sudo apt install GridDB. You could just do um, GridDB like this, and it'll install the GridDB server itself. But then you'd miss out on all the other stuff that comes in the meta package. Um, so it also comes with the C client, um, which is very um, useful. It's even though you don't probably may not be using the C client to actually code in the C language. Um, it's a prereq for using um, the Python client or the Golang client or the Node.js client. Um, so it's it's almost mandatory unless you're just going to use Java. Um, and then there also comes with the CLI tool, um, which is also very useful for quick checking of containers and running quick queries and stuff like that. Um, so we're going to go ahead and install the meta package so we get everything that we need. Um, so let's install this. Um, agree. And uh, when this installs, you'll see some messages here. So it says here, user GS admin and the group root store have been registered. Um, so that means um, if I, for example, do this, um, I will switch into the user called GS admin. And from here, I can, um, you can see what my home directory is. Um, the home directory is varlib grid store. And um, from here, you know, there's some stuff you can do, but uh, I won't mess with that yet. Um, the next thing I wanted to show was actually starting your GridDB um, server. Um, actually, sorry, before I get into that, so I, I mentioned we're going to get the C client and the GridDB CLI, but we also got the JDBC connector. That's a part of the uh, CLI tool now. Um, so the JDBC connector allows you to connect with other services, um, and it makes um, you can use the full SQL through JDBC, so it's very useful. And we can also it also allows us to run SQL commands in our CLI shell okay anyway that's a lot of speaking <laughs> let me just start this server okay and now if i do like a status let's say um you can see grid db is running very cool so um if you wanted to stop it um, i won't run it but you can run stop like this and it'll 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 run it or it'll stop it all right and then now we can um change into our um gs admin user like I showed earlier, let's head to home. Um, so we can drop into the shell, but first, before I drop into the shell, I want to um, run the um, GS stat. So GS stat uh, will show you you're currently running um, server stats. And um, so you run GS stat, and then you do you, and you do the username and password. So these are the both defaults, username and password. Um, you can change this, of course, if you want to, which you probably should if you're sharing your machine. Um, but I won't do that for the purposes of, you know, the course. Anyway, um, so if you get this error, um, there is this file here in the home directory. It's called the bash profile. 
Um, so if you do a cat bash profile, um, this should run every time you log in, but sometimes it doesn't. But here it's trying to set some environment variables for you. It's trying to set your JS log and your JS home. Um, that's why it's saying here um, they're not set. So you can just do a source home bash profile. And now if I try the JS stat again, it'll work. And you can see here I'm running printdb version 5. That came directly from apt. And you can see here I'm running in fixed list mode. And you can see um, the cluster is called my cluster. All right. Um, OK. One last thing is I want to drop into the shell here. Um, so the, the way you do that is uh, this is a command, gssh. Um, so this will drop into the, um, oh, OK. I need to download Java first. Um, so you can install Java through um, here. I think it's JRE, JDK, Java. Um, okay, let me just quickly it's a uh, default JRE, that's why. Okay, default JRE. Um, okay, 500 megabytes, um, that's pretty huge, um, but not that huge. So let's let that run. And um, yeah, so GridDB relies on Java, it's the native language. So if we wanted to start programming right away, um, you would need Java, it's a prereq. Uh, but once Java is installed, we can drop it to the shell and we could also run um, some Java programs. So we can run the samples and stuff like that. But um, that's probably out of scope for this video. I just want to drop into the shell and showcase that. So let's go back into our GS admin user and let's drop into the shell. And there you go. So we can see here connection successful, no SQL and new SQL. No SQL um, uses TQL, which is a, a grid DB query language. And new SQL is basically SQL. So we can run commands like SQL, select, you know, column from container or something and it'll work. Uh, obviously, there's no data in here yet, but um, yep, that's all. So now you have good to be up and running, and now the world is your oyster. So thanks for watching.